Which song has no swearing? Three of these songs are evil, one of them is good. Yes. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the slickest show on the internet. My name is Riley, as always, I'm joined by my quirked up co-host, Graydon. That's right, here I go, busting it down, sexy stuff. Welcome to the second episode of our new music trivia segment. This is Question, Question for you. you. If you didn't see the first episode, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna get a series of multiple choice music trivia questions, each with four possible answers. One point for each one we get right, me versus Graydon versus you. Philip from Gothenburg, Sweden. Your country's weird. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Also consider joining our Patreon. It's only $5 a month. It's the best way you can support our channel, and you get a bunch of extra content if you do. First question is... Which song did not go number one on Billboard? Which song did not go number one on the Billboard Hot 100? I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, left foot slide. The two C slide. <laughs> I legitimately love that song. I love that song, but the dance never caught on. No, but if you're new to the channel, we talked about this before, but I kind of had a weird realization when I was listening to it one time that he's describing how to moonwalk. Yeah. That's why he says dance like Michael Jackson. Right foot up, left, left foot, foot slide. slide. Left foot up, right foot slide. Mm -hmm. But also it's the one that he does. Right, because so. he can't really moonwalk. So. Right. Heartless, Kanye West off 808s and Heartbreak. <laughs> I forgot about that music video. Oh yeah, he had a bunch of animated music videos <laughs> yeah. like that in like the late 2000s. <laughs> Super weird. They all kind of look like iTunes commercials. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Light it up like dynamite. Whoa, whoa. Bring a friend, join the crowd. Dynamite by BTS. Wow. This might be the first BTS song we've ever played on the channel. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. Shout out to the army. Shit, it was 99 cents. I get copping it, watching it. About to go and get some compliments. Passing up on those moccasins. Someone else has been walking in. Thrift Shop by Macklemore. Yes. So Drake, Kanye, BTS, and Macklemore. This is like what high school proms are like right now. I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> I don't this think is so. all they're playing. Is Heartless, a lot of that era of Kanye. Uh, they actually say that this generation listens to the most music from before they were born of any generation of all time. I feel like that's gonna be the trend for every generation to come because of the amount of great music that's being made in the last 20 years. I think it's more about the internet access. It's yeah. just the idea that like, you don't have to go to a record store and buy mm -hmm. stuff and learn about it. Like the internet kind of gives that to you. Yeah. Your influences aren't limited to your social circles in your real life. They're now as broad as the internet. You can go down any, any rabbit hole you want. As far as the eye can see. Three, two, one. I put Heartless. I put Dynamite. It is Heartless by Kanye West. Yeah, he does not have that many number one songs. No? No. Lots of Grammys, yeah. but only a couple number ones. What are we talking, like six? Four? Four number one songs. Wow, same amount as Ludacris. Actually? I think so. How do you know that off the top of your head? You just know how many number ones Ludacris has? Luda. <laughs> This was number two. Ah. It went number two. Number two. Okay, what blocked it? Do you remember? Live Your Life by T.I. featuring Rihanna. Wow. wow. That's a great song. That is a great song. Second question, which artist does not have a Nardwar interview? We've got Earl Sweatshirt, Chance the Rapper, Playboy Cardi, and Nirvana. Okay. A coveted moment of any artist's career. And you are Graydon? Sammy. Your home address is 1256. <laughs> Jesus, how'd you know that? <laughs> well, you're a Graydon from Hive Mind. We have to know. Oh, God. Tell my parents to hide. <laughs> they're getting swatted. Nardwar <laughs> swatted my parents. <laughs> now they're in a Colombian prison. January 8th, 1998. Oh, no. How'd you... I didn't kill him. I thought I settled this in court. <laughs> what the... Vehicular? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> um, Vehicular? I wasn't drunk. I was buzzed. 1.1. <laughs> <laughs> Blood alcohol, yeah. BAC? Yeah, yeah, that's right, BAC. Who jogs at midnight? We weren't even wearing a reflector. Nissan? Oh uh, yeah, it was an Altima, I guess. It was, it was my new Altima, I just leased it. Six fractures. Yeah, I got six fractures in my forearms after putting the person out of their misery, yeah. And you are? <laughs> Graydon from Hive Mind, yeah. Thanks, Nardwar. this has been a super good interview. Keep on rocking in the free, well, I don't wanna keep that. <laughs> if I ever get interviewed by Nardwar, I'm gonna piss my pants during the interview. That's a promise to you, my fans. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cardi? Cardi? It is Playboy Cardi. Yeah, that makes sense. It's gotta be coming up. All right, what's the third question? Which song came out first? So the oldest song of this four. Okay. I'll look you right in your face. <laughs> Sing to your bitch like I'm Drake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good drink, good 
<laughs> so this is Good Drank by 2 Chains featuring Quavo and Gucci Mane. Wow, this music video looks terrible. They're like bootleggers, but with lean. <laughs> Blow up. Plug Walk by Rich the Kid. And here we got a Breaking Bad scenario going on. Oh, I thought it was a Minions thing they were doing. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Those Minions did smoke a lot of meth, though. They right. lost their ability to speak. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm too cold for a girlfriend. Nowadays, I don't know when the world spins. Nowadays by Lil Skies and Landon Cube. Big lyrical lemonade moment. Yes. <laughs> when I say I keep the poker, I ain't talking about no beans. Project baby, you know I got paid. And Skirt by Kodak Black. Okay, feel like there's a big clue in this one. Is the clue a trick or the trick a clue? The trick's a catch, but then there's a bonus that kind of comes in as a clue if you open up your mind. Ooh, I kind of have a hunch about what the trick could be. But don't forget that some things can be a bonus instead of a catch. I have an inkling that there might be a hint that's a giveaway. Three, two, one. I put nowadays. I put Skirt. It is Skirt by Kodak Black. Mm. A switchback. Mm. Yeah. There's no way he could grow the hair he has now. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's so bald. <laughs> when did that come out and when did the other ones come out? Skirt came out in 2016. And nowadays came out in 2017. Good Drank came out 2017 and Plug Walk came out 2018. Oh, wow, that's so weird. Plug Walk only came out in 2018? They all feel like the same year for me. Plug like, Walk feels like 2015 to me. Yeah, yeah. same year. Yeah. Fourth question, which of these albums is not Platinum. Okay. Jesus is King by Kanye West. A Love Letter to You 4 by Trippy Red. Currents by Tame Impala. And The Carter 5 by Lil Wayne. You think Trippy would have stopped after a couple? I mean, how many love letters you gotta write? Anytime someone names an album a sequel or a threequel or a four or a five or a six, especially when it's someone like Trippy Red, where the love letters, none of them seem to like tie together. <laughs> right. I'm like, why wouldn't you just name it something new and exciting? Yeah. I feel like more people would be excited for the albums if you just named them something new. If you're a rapper and you're about to release Feed the Streets 4 or whatever, just call it like Fluffy Pink Cow and the Submarine Heist. You know? Because if, if, if Trippy Red releases that, I'm listening to it. Yeah. Like, I don't care <laughs> what singles come out before or whatever, I am listening to that album all the way through. In parentheses, NATO's a joke. <laughs> like, Whoa! Oh, he's getting political. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Jesus is King. I put Love Letter. It is Jesus is King by Kanye West. I thought, yeah. I thought the Christians would have saved that and dragged it up to platinum. <laughs> Good for Tame Impala. An album like that doesn't usually get platinum. For sure. That genre. You know, I feel like I've grown up so fast. Yeah. It's like just yesterday I was in the kitchen helping mom and today I'm moving keys to the white like Elton John. Damn. You think I can get some? No? I got that crocodile rock. <laughs> All right, Grant, what is the next question? Which song has no swearing? Oh, three of these songs are evil, one of them is good. Yes. Shout eyes on scam for the click, clack, clap, but a boom, bop, bam, cuz. I was up late night balling. Big Fish, Vince Staples. Step on his neck, it's hard as your bulletproof vest. He don't mind, he know we never respect the good kid, Mad City. Baby. baby, that's Good Kid from Good Kid Mad City. Yes. Keep on walking, ain't no stopping in this dirty, filthy, rotten, nasty little world we call our home. Walking, Denzel Curry, newest single. I got a lot of enemies who used to be my friends. Pull me up before and I feel like myself again. And Myself by Nav, one of my favorite rap songs of all time. Yeah, a masterpiece. Who's a good boy on the track? No cussing. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Big Fish. That's what I put. It is Good Kid by Kendrick Lamar. Really? Yes. Wow. I wanted to mention about Big Fish. He says the word damn one time. That's it. The only swear word on the whole thing. Wow. Yes. Next question we got. Which rapper has not written a book? Gucci Mane, Lil B, Action Bronson, or J. Cole. Does a cookbook count? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gun to your head, would you rather have to add officer to the beginning of your name or dot eth to the end of your name? <laughs> <laughs> dot E. Really? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Three, two, one. I put J. Cole. That's what I put. It is J. Cole. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Lil B's book? That's the only one I didn't know. Yeah, it's called Taken Over by Imposing the Positive. Wow, so a motivational book from yeah. Lil B. What do we got next, Grant? Which song was not written by Benny Blanco? Oh, okay. One of Hollywood's most prolific songwriters. Is sure. Hollywood where they make music, too? I think so. I think we could call it Hollywood, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. One of the music industry's most prolific writers, mm -hmm. Benny Blanco. Chuck. <laughs> we love the earth, it is our planet. Earth by Lil Dicky. Mm -hmm. Co-written by Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, <laughs> he at least makes a cameo. He's somewhere in it. I just wanna go back, back to 1999. 
1999 by Charlie XCX and Troy Sivan. So I took a second and I said me too. That video, oh my gosh. Those dance moves are not normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is Obsessed by who? Addison Ray. Addison Ray. okay. That's the first time I've heard that song. Uh, and it'll be okay. the last. <laughs> I don't know. The dance moves, I mean, the dance moves are there, for sure. I'm gonna have to listen to it to learn it. I feel like yeah. I, mean, I kinda have it, you know? I think you got it all the way there. <laughs> Literally busting it down sexual style. And lastly. When I got Diamonds by Rihanna. I think Grant's got a trick here. Three, two, one. I put Earth. That's what I put. It is 1999 by Charlie mm, X. Yes. I should have known. I absolutely should have known. I thought it was because he's such good friends with Lil Dicky. Right. That, like that was the trick there. Next, we've got which artist does not have an official Bape collab? Okay. Wiz Khalifa, Lil Baby, <laughs> Minions, <laughs> and Pusha T. I love that last Minions album so much. <laughs> so you can draw lines here. Pusha T, Pharrell. Yes. Pharrell, Nego. Pusha T also got in beef with Lil Wayne about wearing Bape. And didn't he do a song for the Minions? Oh wait, I never drew that. I've never made that connection. Yeah. See, Pharrell made Happy for the Minions soundtrack and probably hooked them up with a Bape collab. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Lil Baby. That's what I put. It is Lil Baby. Okay, yeah. I know Gunna has one. Yeah. That's the trick there. Have you seen the Minions Bape collab, by the way? Yeah, I believe so. It is ridiculous. Yeah. It yeah. looks exactly like what you think a parody would look like. Right. Like you can zip up and you'll have a Minions face and it has over Overalls. It's like it's like yellow with blue overall patches on it. It's ridiculous looking <laughs> and I want it so bad I've asked for it for Christmas three years in a row. All right Grant. What's the next question? Which song has the most streams on Spotify? Popularity contest just like the presidential election Yes, sir ski by 21 Savage on Lil Uzi's album <laughs> Which also is very lame lingo. Yes. That's like white guy uncle lingo <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sursky. <laughs> Here we go fishing again. Dale, are those turkey burgers? Yes, Sursky. <laughs> oh, hey, Jerry. Is Camden playing t-ball this year? Yes, Sursky. He's a real Cal Ripken. Doesn't miss a game. They're going to rename the local park Camden Yards. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yes, Sursky. We off the grid, grid, grid. This for my kid, kid, kid. When my kid, kid, kid. Off the grid, Kanye West, Playboy Cardi, Fabio Foreign. Massive song. Yes, but also very new. Late at night. Kiss me in the morning or late at night Late at night, Roddy Rich. A banger. A TikTok banger. Yeah. I didn't even realize that until recently. Yeah. I was on TikTok and I kept seeing it pop up. I was like, oh, I know that song. Pop out like a toast. Walking in the snow before I ever made my wrist freeze. I was blowing smoke, had me dizzy like a lesbian. And Snow Child by the weekend also has an animated iTunes looking <laughs> iTunes commercial looking animated video. Yeah, very strange. Kind of ugly. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put late at night. I put yes, Sirski. It is late at night by Roddy Rich. Yeah, TikTok. That really, that really tipped me off there. That damn TikTok. How many streams? Late at night has 128 million streams. Off the grid has 121 million streams. Mm. Yes, Sursky has 108 million streams, and Snowchild has 96 million streams. Wow. Okay. Weekend, really bottom of the barrel music there. <laughs> Try again, Ab Abel. <laughs> Apple? Apple? <laughs> Did you say Apple? <laughs> an Apple a day will keep your doctor astray. Gain an Apple from the Bibble? <laughs> 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 Which artist does not have 5 million followers on TikTok? So we've got Britney Spears, Lil Yachty, Young Thug, and Bruno Mars. These are monsters. Is that Bruno Mars's real name? No way. There's no way his name's Bruno Mars. What is Bruno Mars's real name? Peter Jean Hernandez is Bruno Mars's birth name. Peter Jean Hernandez? <laughs> Peter. Peter. Congrats on all those Grammys, Peter. Now I know you said Benny Blanco sound like a soccer player, but this dude plays baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Next up for the Anaheim Angels, Peter Jean Hernandez. And now you're gonna wanna watch out, John. If this guy gets on base, he's looking to steal. Peter Jean Hernandez now leads the league in stolen bases and RBIs, having a breakout year for the Oakland Athletics. And that's right, John, he still has the number one single on the U.S. pop charts. <laughs> How'd he come with Bruno Mars? I don't know. It's so much better, though. Well, if he went by Peter Jean, I think that's kind of cute. 
No, he would like a never, southern belle. Absolutely would so like a, like a debutante. He would have had to go on American Idol <laughs> if his name was Peter Jean Hernandez. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Peter. I put Bruno. It is Young Thug. Mm. I guess that makes sense. I know Lil Yachty's big on TikTok because yeah. I see his pop up all the time. Britney Spears obviously has to have five million. Mm -hmm. I just thought maybe Bruno Mars didn't use TikTok very much. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Mm -hmm. So what do they all have? Lil Yachty has seven point eight million. Bruno Mars has six point six million, Britney Spears has 6.5 million, and Young Thug has 1.1 million, but on the rise right now. He okay. only has 1.1 million? He's been making some banger videos recently. Though. Yeah. Oh, really? So funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. What is Britney Spears' real name? I think it's Britney Spears. Britney Spears was born Britney Jean Spears. She's the same middle name as Bruno, as Bruno <laughs> Mars. It's weird that her middle name's Jean. All right, uh, what's the next question? Which one of these songs does not have a Euphoria episode with the same name? Ooh, so which of these songs does not have a Euphoria episode named after it? Got it, okay. Interesting. Yeah, very. I know the whole first season was all song titles, right? I believe so. Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look. They shook, cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. All right, Shook One's part two, by Mob Deep. Okay. Stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop. Rough Riders Anthem by DMX. Mm -hmm. Look for me, young B, cruising down the west side highway. O3 Bonnie and Clyde by Jay-Z and Beyonce. A banger. What we doing? Getting the money. They don't want hating on us, but they never crowd cash money, still a cup in it. Stunting Like My Daddy by Lil Wayne. Yes. And Birdman, yeah, okay. I think I know this one. I think I know this one too. Cause I love Euphoria, I love the show. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. I'll tell you what, Eric D.O.A. having a song on the Euphoria soundtrack wasn't exactly on my 2020 bingo card. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Rough Riders Anthem. That's what I put. It is Rough Riders Anthem by DMX. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I actually remember the names of the episodes and I haven't watched season one in a minute. But. Yeah, also when you're thinking about the titles, like O3 Bonnie and Clyde makes sense when you have like a power couple going on. Stunning Like My Daddy makes sense with Nate and his dad's character. <laughs> totally. And Shook One's part two, Shook One's- Kind of, kind of. That's, that's the one. That's Shook, the one. Shook One's part two sounds like a weird name for an episode of TV. Yeah. But Rough Riders Anthem also sounds weird. Right, what so. are they like? getting into Harleys or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the one from last week could have been called Rough Riders Anthem when Cal was driving around wasted yeah. <laughs> for like half the episode. I remember back when Euphoria used to be just a feeling. And next we got, which artist has the highest net worth according to Google? Which is usually wrong. So we got Rihanna, Diddy, Dr. Dre, and Kanye West. Okay. All considered billionaires from what I understand. Yeah. Well, they all consider themselves billionaires. <laughs> yeah. Grant was shaking his head, so one of them's not a billionaire. <laughs> Rihanna is pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just trying to keep up with the news. And Ukraine is surrounded. <laughs> Now, hey, it's a complicated situation over there. I don't want anybody rushing to conclusions. <laughs> I mean, we really can't joke about it. I mean, Russia's aggression in that region is just really scary. Oh, cry me a river. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Kanye. I put Rihanna. It is Kanye West. Yes, finally some redemption. Yeah, because he's rich. Your music might suck. And your Jesus album didn't go platinum, but you're filthy rich, so. Wow, what is he evaluated at now? Okay, according to Google, he has $1.8 billion of net worth. Mm -hmm. Rihanna has one point seven billion dollars, Diddy 900 million, and Dr. Dre 450 million. Wow, Dr. Dre really dropped down. Well, he got. He got divorced. He got got. He that got, was a, got. It was like one of the biggest settlements in California history. Wow, I Right forgot. after Bezos. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Just think about this though. 2015, Life of Pablo rollout. Kanye talks about being millions of dollars in debt. 2022, the richest music billionaire of all time. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. 1.8 billion dollars? Yeah, I mean, oh I bet you like the Michael Jackson estate is worth like an incredible amount, but mm -hmm. it's mind blowing, honestly. Yeah. Could be us, dude. <laughs> what do you mean could be us? Well, we're in crippling debt right now. Yeah. I keep saying how I'm going to be a billionaire. Right. This is kind of our life of Pablo era. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like it's going to age really well. A lot mm. of hits on the album. Yeah. And it feels a little bit like a public meltdown, but at the end of the day, it's a great piece of work. And <laughs> we were just in MSG, so. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, what's the next question? Which song was not on Obama's public playlist from 2021? Oh, Obama's secret FBI playlist. <laughs> so he always posts kind of like his I'm quirky little playlist, you know, yeah. like bet you didn't think I listened to Mitski, uh -huh. you know, that sort of deal. So here we go. Getting bitter while she was getting better. Diamonds all feather. Miss Sierra Leone looking like a dark power just go out. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. 
that scary. You called this. I said, I said, just so you guys know, big snowstorm hitting the Midwest right now. Today is the day they say we're getting 10 inches of snow. And I have said, if the power goes out, people will die. <laughs> so if this video is out, that's good news. Mm -hmm. Cause I have to be alive to edit it, I yeah. assume. It was nice knowing you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so that was Woman by Little Sims. I'm so non-physical. Bunny is a rider. Caroline Polachek. Just play it again. Hmm? Play it again. What? Oh, you just like it. Oh, okay. I thought you missed it or something. Okay, here we go. <laughs> do, do feel like lady. Okay, thank you. Who on a shot? Wanna die? Let me know I got two on a hip and a neck. No bigger DC. You smooth like an RB song. Headshots by Isaiah Rashad. Banger. I'll speak of the devil, the only heartbreaker by Mitski. Mm -hmm. Which one is Barack busting it down sexual style? <laughs> or not? Okay. <laughs> Songs to drone strike to. <laughs> Albie, <laughs> the only heartbreaker. Three, two, one. I put headshots. I put Bunny as a rider. It is Bunny as a rider by Caroline Polachek. Oh, okay. I feel like he just hasn't listened to it enough. Maybe Bunny as a rider. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like too big of a song. Maybe he's trying to remain cool. Too big of a song. Yeah, it was the biggest song in the world last year, wasn't it? Biggest song in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Swept the nation, caused a tsunami, right? I might be skewing your perception of how big that song is by just how much I play it. Yeah. But that's because I was practicing the dance, and you're really good at it, though. Oh, thank you. But I mean, it's amazing how you incorporated the WAP themes into Bunny as a rider. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's ready yet. I mean, I still feel like I need a few more months of practice to really. Oh, baby. no way. No, I don't think you should show anyone. What do you mean? No, you said really. you liked it. Yeah, yeah, for me, just like, please don't. Please don't put it out there. I don't know. I think when it's done, it's going to be a really cool dance. Grant's Rock shaking his head, too. Grant's I mean, not from, shaking his head. From an optics standpoint, it's really bad for the channel if you, you do don't that. Have to, you don't have to lie about Ooh, this. Yeah, no. Maybe wear a mask or something and tell people. Wear a mask? I what? saw this guy on the street doing We this. are both anti-mask. We talked about this. We both don't believe the virus and everything. It's basically like a flu, but a little bit worse. I mean, you're choosing. You're making some bad choices right now. What do you mean? Private conversation, Riley. We're, we're on camera. We're anti-mask. We're anti-vax. Forever, oh brother. That's God. what you said. You said forever, brother. Never give in to those those morons. And if you drive a Chevy, fuck you. God dang it. See, you got me out of it. I don't know. I don't. I feel like I feel like we should be ourselves. People have been talking about this. I mean, you said it best. We're anti-mask. We're anti-vax. And a marriage is between a man and three women. <laughs> okay, I agree with the last part. <laughs> last one. Which rapper does not have a lyrical lemonade video? Okay. So which rapper does not have a music video directed by Cole Bennett? We've got Joey Badass, J.I.D., Valet, and Rod Wave. I'm so excited for football this weekend. Mm -hmm. Who you got? I don't even know who's playing. Don't care. I'm just excited to drink. <laughs> I'm banned from all the betting apps anyway. My AAA sponsor's logged into my phone, so no one let me do it. It's probably for the better. So lets me drink though. He drinks with me. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. My double A sponsors Duracell. What? Powered by Duracell. My whole body and my mind and my cell phone are all powered by Duracell batteries. Your cell phone is powered by batteries? Yep. Never have to charge it. I just throw the batteries in the crick and then I get some new batteries. All thanks to my corporate sponsor at Duracell. What the fuck? Trusted by paramedics and other serious stuff. So you know it's gonna last when stuff goes down. <laughs> Duracell. Duracell batteries. How do we get rid of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense that they would sponsor you because you got arrested for battery. So three, two, one. Put Joey Badass. That's what I put. It's Joey Badass. Yes, because JID has the song with J Cole. Ballet has a, a few old ones, I believe. The prominent one is Skinny. Skinny. Okay. Yeah. And then Rod Wave has that black and white one where he's on the basketball court. Thief in the night. Yeah. Thief in the night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that was the second episode of Question for You. It's one of our favorite games to play. Get a different question every time. If you have some ideas for questions, send them to DJ Grant or drop them down in the comments. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Graydon, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? No one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. All right, this has been Hive Mind TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you in the next one. Zip zap, zoopy zoop, Duracell batteries. And Graydon from Hive Mind, I have a gift for you. Okay. Oh, it's the obituary section from the paper. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 them, the person I didn't kill on purpose, Nardvar. My parents' divorce had a huge effect on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They just want the money. The kid never looked like me. We simply lost that spark. <laughs> oh, that looked good.
That looks really good. Ew. Let's go. Good for you, though. I'm glad that you did it. No, no, no. <laughs> Beans on toast, those Harry Potter movies are good. <laughs> That's my impression of somebody from yeah. England. Well, somebody who moved to England yeah. and doesn't have the accent. Beans on toast. We still on for tea later, fellas? <laughs> I need a cup of tea. This Brexit thing is stressing me out. <laughs>